Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Lone War of the Chosen. My name is Iken, this is the legendary Iron Man run. We are in month number 5 and it is time to go for Operation Patient Smoke. I told you that I would boost it and we just brought it to 101%. Um, we will use the SWAT here, led by Fury, Renman, Taxman, Roby and um, uh, Random Specialist. We'll take that SWAT and essentially um, deploy it to for the next mission, the one that just recently popped up. That way we are time efficient. And here we are in the middle of the mission. It looks like our VIP is kind of on the way there. And we got a, uh, the extraction zone right there, 19 turns, which is plenty. And we got some high ground over here. So pretty much everything that you could ask for. Got to be a bit careful with our concealment. I don't want to lose it right away. There's a civilian. All right, taking Roby, and let's move over here. We're, we are definitely going for that high ground there. First round, given that we do have so much room to maneuver, here's our way up, by the way, we're using those pipes. Given that we have so much room to maneuver, I feel We might want to be a bit aggressive on the very first turn to make sure that we have enough time to do the engagements afterwards. So double movement with everyone. I'm even willing to put someone out of cover. If we play our cards right, we might be able to uh, pull off a flawless victory here. Which would be great because we could reuse uh, that exact team. Perfect. Let's continue to scout. Fury moves a bit closer. Okay, we got some mutants and a viper over there. Let's use this round to get in position. Steadying weapon. Okay, our specialist could go over here. Let's do this. And I think Roby, Roby with his relatively high movement speed, we either want to put him up here or over here. I, but I think I want the high ground, to be honest. So we're putting him just a bit back, which means he has enough movement to get somewhere there to take shots next turn. Oh, there's another pack up stairs. Hmm. Onward. Let's hope they're not going to discover us. 
Elseways, the whole mission could be quite uh, could become quite nasty. That pack slithers away, which is great. But those guys are moving closer, which is absolutely not good. Someone broke a window. I was about to say that might that can only be a drone. We really don't want to be pincered, so if we would if we would be discovered, like right now, essentially it would mean that we're fighting again a, a war on two fronts in history has told uh, has taught us that that is never a good idea so although i like high ground i'm willing to compromise And we are repositioning the entire team. So it's one more round of essentially getting into a better position. He has high, uh, damn good ground, so damn you. Having Roby like on top of uh, this roof would have been absolutely beneficial. Yet another t uh, uh, in the yet another pack. Good. We don't want to fight against three packs at once. At least we know all of the enemies by now. Could move all the way up to here. I think. I am preferring to stay a bit back with our specialist. Stepping off. Fury definitely doesn't like that pack over uh, there. The mutants can retaliate. But there is only so much that we can do against them. And Fury needs to stay close to the action. So with this move, we just got rid of uh, the pincer. But we might still find ourselves kind of in a situation where we're fighting two enemy packs at the same time. At least we're fighting them head to head. I most certainly don't want to fight a third pack. And if we somehow can get out of line of sight of the Viper, I would consider essentially rather moving over here. Out of curiosity, no, he's out of line of sight, which is great. So let's move over here. Uh, 
I shouldn't trigger anyone. And we're now getting out of line of sight of the other pack. So let's double check. Can we still see that pack? Yes, due to our sniper. But we can deal with that, can we? Moving over here. And let's get our specialist over here before we engage. Location confirmed. And now if we were to engage, like what's our chance? 80%, very high chance to actually stun him, which is probably the best bet. Anyways, pretty high chance to hit him with a chain shot. And we got a free pistol shot. I mean, the only thing that's not really covered is the trooper. Of course, we can charge in, but that would be in range of this pack here, making our uh, earlier efforts completely futile. Let's go for an overwatch. And we're triggering by stunning the Berserk. There we go, we're being revealed. There's a good chance uh, that the Overwatch will trigger. Okay. Maybe not. Very deceiving uh, to go there. And kill him in melee. But believe me, our problems will would be larger after we would uh, kill this guy. Yeah. This here is definitely, would definitely trigger. And we don't want that to happen, so instead we're going for some cover over here, which means we're taking one shot from uh, the trooper, which isn't the end of the world. He's probably going to miss anyways. Interestingly enough, we're getting some reinforcements, and that is the hunter. Revenge. 
Can take sh uh, shots against us. Ah, shit, is immune against melee damage. And after the first shot, uh, increases his defense. Okay. He is weak against explosions. And he hates Reapers. Okay, fair enough. I'm pretty sure he cannot immediately tracking shot. <coughs> he just arrived. There we go. We need to get to their Overwatch trap successful. Good. We got to keep in mind the Berserk is going to awake. And he's going to be in a really piss poor mood. So we better find an answer for him soon. The most dangerous game. Party. Might as well start with Deadeye here. Try to take down the Berserk as soon as possible. 13 points of damage is a good start. We got some suppression if we were to need uh, if we were need, uh, needing it. Um, I mean, we know where the third pick is, right? So that's not a big deal. We could move over here, start flank him, uh, flanking him, could move over here, full cover. This is still shows as flanking. Not absolutely sure if it does. No, it does. So let's get rid of the Overwatch. We're fortifying and moving a bit closer. We do have lightning reflexes, so the overwatch will essentially hit nothing. Also, we are preparing to get rid of the berserk. Nice little shot. Come on, one more hit. That's my boy. All right, really nice, very well done from Renvin. Roby moves over here. Okay, I'll go. Again, we're in full cover. Eighty-one percent. Hmm. Okay. Odds to. Hit him, but we're not killing him. But 70% is still good, and we have a chance of actually killing him. Come on. Uh, Roby failed, unfortunately. We could start hitting it and then 
we would go for a cover. There's a slight risk that the next pack is already on the rooftop. Not 100% real, uh, not 100% sure if that is really a risk because Roby would have probably spotted them out by now. Alright, moving over into full cover okay. over here. And that's a good start. Essentially disorienting two of them. I'm taking the risk that we might move into the third pack. A very low chance, but still. He has momentum. Going to move into full cover over here. General positioning is sound. We got two of them disoriented. The only one that I'm worried about is uh, the one on the left here. Because he could have theoretically moved over here and flanked. There is the pack I was talking about earlier. You will step up your game, Commander. Every shot counts. I'm pinned down here. And thanks to the way that this game works in Long War, they are getting a full turn right away. Tracking shot, hopefully. All right, that's good. Because we're going to move anyways. I think we've gotten all of the enemies. Fury gets uh, the 8 protocol. And I want to see how our chances against the mech would be. I am I think I'm I'm feeling wild and want to actually take it over, but 25% is not really good enough. We could go for a shutdown 50 50 almost 60%. Not the best odds. Killing the mech is easy. Everything else is a 50-50. So we might as well go um, for a kill here instead. Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Mech is being taken care of. I like the position. It's good. It's solid.
we were to position ourselves over here and then or over here now nah, here is better over here and essentially then uh, take a rapid fire you could probably kill this guy We would need to double move though, then um, the teamwork ability would need to be handed over and then uh, Roby would need to take a shot. A lot of ifs and whens. I like the core idea though of essentially using two flanking maneuvers. That is not a flanking position, that is a flanking position. This is full cover and probably close enough to actually hit the guy. Uh, biggest concern is the mutant here. All right, let's do the following. We're moving to here. That's going to trigger the overwatch shot. We still have the ability to do the maneuver that I was talking about. Just need to draw the overwatch shot first. Good. That's that. Now, next up, let's kill the Viper because I don't want to end up bound. We need maximum damage here, so it's a 50-50. are not getting. Hmm. We gotta focus at least. That's not bad. The Viper is it's the biggest problem. Move to here, kill the Viper. Much rather would like to go to here and take shots and kill that guy. We do have a small backup plan, which We might be able to kill the Viper here. We can't do anything. Oh wait, we could hack. Attempting infiltration. But his hacking abilities aren't great either. Yeah, we're not, we don't need concealment. And we certainly don't want to give everyone else um, mobility and defense bonus. No, thank you. But there's a 20% chance that the Viper could die. <laughs> well, look at that. Changes the picture quite a bit. With the Viper out of the way, I think I'm going to go aggressive, position myself here, and take my chances in getting the mutant killed because the problem with the mutants is you can't let them live they are just absolute uh, they are just wreaking absolute havoc and with a shotgun I need to get into 
a position where I'm close enough to actually hit them. Elsewise, Renvin is not doing anything. So we're moving. Like I mentioned, double move. Teamwork, which is not going to end our turn. And I might actually suppress uh, the other one, depending on the outcome here. We could stun. That's a 90% chance. But I much rather like to kill him. I think we're going to have a good chance of doing that. There we go. Good job. So I could go for a parry. The mutant could uh, essentially drop a grenade. The rocketeer could drop a grenade. That's a problem. But they position themselves wisely far enough away from each other. Good chance to hit him, but unfortunately that's not going to be a kill. Let's go for a suppression because I don't want him to use a grenade on us. And we need to move far enough away so that we're not getting um, getting targeted by a rocket. Go all the way back to here, but the problem is that's a little bit close. It'll trigger the Chosen. Move up to here, that's probably a rocket. Move to here, which is just in the middle. Not yet a rocket on either side. And he's in full cover, so everyone's in full cover. And we do have the enemies somewhat under control. Rocketeer moves, that means he's not using a rocket. Okay. Pretty successful round. Haven't taken any damage whatsoever. Now we're definitely going to get another uh, tracking shot. The closest target, so a target always gets it. I'm having a vision. Heavy Rocketeer and the Mutant. I think we're. I think we should go for the Rocketeer. I mean, we could grapple up here, but that's not efficient. I like our position. Two thirds, a uh, third of a chance to actually hit him, maybe even kill him. On the margins. Overwatch is removed. Can move all the way to here, theoretically. Let's move over and maybe we can kill the mutant. 
Oh wait, the mutant hasn't been damaged yet, right? Yeah. Uh, so we're going to wait with that. Time to get some focus for us. Fury is charging in. And there we go. So, hmm, we position ourselves over here. <laughs> uh, that is a funny position, because it allows us to flank both of uh, them. Moving up with Roby. We're almost out of ammunition, thanks to the huge magazine size. He keeps on going. Let's see if we can soften up the mutant. Ah, not really softened up. Very low chance of actually hitting this guy. I would rather move over here, which is cover against him. I guess that'll be okay. And that's hopefully a dead mutant. Very nice. Very nice. Now we're going to go for Overwatch here and parry. Pretty damn good. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Oh yeah, that's the last enemy. So, we just need to deal with the Chosen now. Let's grab the loot. I still think we're close enough to actually kill this guy. Two Alarian cores, well worth it. It's 40. And this here is the kill. Finally getting us up to three. Even more loot. But unfortunately another drone. Alright, let's get a bit more towards the action. Moving all the way over here. Good copy. Moving on target. 
Our pistol should be strong enough to take down the drone. Of course. Of course. Roby needs to reload, so can essentially just overwatch. Renvin, on the other hand, moves in, jumps through the window, and takes out the drone. Might as well open the uh, car. No, wait a second, wait a second. When we're doing that, reinforcements uh, will start dropping in. Mm -mm. We're waiting with that. Overwatch. Got some parry. Got it and two overwatches. What? What kind of a monster grapple is that, please? We haven't met. He stood here and grapples all the way up to here. Like, the XCOM, and no did they improve his range? At long last. I mean, I get it if you stand here, okay? It's fine. But he was like over here. Well, luckily for us, he ran right into our overwatch, which was good. Not so lucky for us, we got dazed. You know what? I'm coming for you. I'm actually going to impress you. Yes. In the meanest, baddest, and most disgusting way. Because we are going to get really, really, really close, which is the one thing that he hates. And then we're going to really, 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 really use rapid fire. Not a single crit. Oh, my God. Uh, I, was I was expecting more. Moving in for Roby. Reviving him. Moving in for our um, support. 
Overdrive. Reviving him as well. Shit, bro, we only has one turn. Too bad. And... We really don't want any enemy... Uh, we, we really don't want him to take a shot back. He's immune against melee, which stinks because elsewise I would have finished him. Zero percent chance to hit him. Robbie doesn't even have a line of sight. Okay, fair enough. Overwatch it is. We'll get some momentum. Don't worry about them. And I'm moving up to here. It's probably going to grapple. Probably up to here and we'll take a shot. That's what I would do if I'd be him. But he has so many grappling angles, it really doesn't matter. Instead, he just takes a shot like that. Doesn't move. Don't bat an eye. You're luckier than most. Well, you know, I mean, out, I'm ready. if you want, you might as well stay there. That's fine for me. That's the crit I was hoping for earlier. Yep, Renman pretty much dominated this mission. Not bad, Commander. Many hits with Rapid Shot, which is such a strong ability. I absolutely love that they have not nerfed it yet. I'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long. I'm expect I'm fully expecting that they will nerf it in uh, in the future versions. Okay, and we're slowly but surely moving to the exit. And as we do that, I feel it's time to summon a ghost. Just in case a reinforcement or any other shenanigan happens. Also, I haven't used the ability yet. Well, it's pretty much the same as the normal ability, they haven't nerfed it at all, which is great, because it is an incredibly strong ability. No enemy left over. Which means we might as well Free the VIP now and get out of here. Time for a hack. Accessing system.
I like these superior PCSs, but we're going for the alien alloys. Good. Moving all the way to the exit zone. Let's open the door. What's over there? All right, the new guy is called Blaze. And I think with the exception of Fury, no one has taken damage. Which is lamentable, because when we're going for the next mission and Fury is not with them, that'll be, uh, that'll be a pretty big miss. Okay, perfect. Next turn, we're going to evac everyone. Seems as if there are not even reinforcements coming in. I would have preferred that the whole thing would have been more flawless. X-Men is moving out. It in. Renman is moving out and last but certainly not least, Overdrive, who has done a good job and hopefully gets a promotion. soldier wounded but everything else was fine 11 enemies pretty strong enemies uh, that is but uh, overall a doable mission and we got two promotions <laughs> and none for overdrive you did a valiant job buddy but yeah you did not deserve a promotion great I love untouchable I'm 99.9% going to take that one Uh, that is a good ability, generally speaking. So is Bring and On, but Untouchable is just too good. Together with Implaceable, it's even better. So Untouchable and Placeable, just, just a combination that you have to love. It is phenomenal. Good, as for Roby. I like the whole Guardian thing, generally on Gunners, but his aim is so whack at the moment. This one is good. But, given that we have Rapid Fire, it's kind of meh, because you do have rapid fire, right? Which is better. So that'll... 
That'll make the area suppression larger. I think we're going with Danger Zone, mainly because his aim is not really good. I'll get Rapid Fire anyways. I mean, if I'm looking at his abilities here, he should be absolutely um, using all of the reaction shots because Guardian, 50% chance for an additional shot. Sentinel in Overwatch, you may take two reaction shots. So that in itself is already a minimum two and more often these trigger even further ones. So he would get his full magazine kind of unloaded. If you then say you're getting plus 10 aim um, and other reaction shots uh, on Overwatch and other reaction shots and they can critically hit, that's even better. So I am thinking whether or not we're going down this whole route of overwatch with him let's try it we can always reskill but suppression essentially is an overwatch against everyone who is suppressed and this uh, this year will uh, create even more chances to hit the enemies. Perfect, we got ourselves a new recruit, finally. Um, yep, right there. Let me customize her. All right, here we go. Color coded and she's going to be an X advent. So we might want to treat her as such. We're going for rapid deployment with her. I like them good ground. Might as well take that. Kubikiri is nice as well. But whenever possible, them good ground shouldn't be avoided. I like center mass. But I also like um, extra grenades. Mm. So yeah, we're going with uh, extra grenades for cover removal because that's her job and formidable because we don't want her to die. Um, for now, let's give her some focus. Good, there we go. She got a couple of weapons and grenades and is ready to roll. Which brings us to the next exercise. i.e. staffing our next mission. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we're going to get that in a second. All right. We got a Haven Advisor here, which we could theoretically take. We have no Haven Advisor over here. Okay, fair enough. So, what was the mission that we wanted to do? There we go. Destroy the Alien Relay, eight days, four hours, might as well 
see if we can get a team together to do that. Setting course for Sector 11, West Africa. Okay, let me get the team together and see if we can do that. And we got ourselves a nice team together. Outrider, Divat, Iwat Divat, Roby, Renvin, um, Blaze, who is uh, the one that we just rescued. And we got ourselves Rascal here, uh, who at least will be able to medical protocol. So well, there will be an okay amount of um, healing we probably let me just double check I'll get one more uh, med kit all right much better so we actually have taken two additional med kits with us I think we're going to be fine overall got a decent amount of uh, grenades and yeah uh, they, since our specialist is too low uh, of a level he only gets two charges out of the med kit and not four so overall a very strong team, but we're also fighting against a pretty substantial um, baseline. 19 to 21 is, is pretty uh, pretty impressive. We might need to boost it uh, with even more intel, but I'm not 100% sure yet. If we would boost it, it would be a walk in the park. If we are not going to uh, boost it, it's uh, going to be a pretty tough mission but that's what you guys like to see so i figure um, it is in our all in all of our interest to do that so starting the infiltration over there and let's get a mech Avenger plotting new course. which is cool if we would uh, the mech here uh, would work um, for the resistance operators uh, so you could later you uh, you can uh, basically control mechs and also take them out of the battlefield and essentially uh, in the region where you are doing that um, the area gets um, uh, gets uh, the mech as defense ah, not so good Protect the data tab for unhindered operations. So that'll be pretty strong opposition there. I am thinking that we're going to abort this mission and instead we will take the same team and essentially protect um, the data tab for now for the West African sector. Sky Ranger deployed. not optimal Squad secure. but we gotta protect it oh my gosh what's happening no we don't want to get Edwin's attention that's a really stupid mission kidding me okay so here here's a okay when that happens in the game you just gotta be calm breathe and think about what's currently happening the vigilance level of 17 in east uh, in eastern africa uh just basically says Edwin is currently throwing everything including the kitchen sink at east africa just to make sure that this here is going to be um, um, completely bogged down. This is why the baselines are increasing quite a bit, but the force levels are rising and the vigilance level just basically tells you to which um, degree uh, the the actual force level can rise. We can do this um, supply rate. We still have plenty of time to figure a solution out. Whenever multiple things happen, don't get overwhelmed by it, but instead take one at a time. Let's take a look here. 
And here we go. We got a sword of eight. I swear I have improved the sword size by one, so I'm not sure why we couldn't take nine, but whatever. Uh, it's probably a problem of the mod um, by now. Anyways, look at that. I mean, we got uh, the who is who of this run. Renvin, we got Taxman, we got Roby, we got Dark Tower, we got uh, Ivok Dia, we got uh, Blaze. That's not necessarily the who is who of this run. Uh, we got uh, Outrider and a random uh, specialist. We're going in with Dual Sniper. Uh, not the best kind of team for that sort of mission, but I figure um, we will get a couple of free shots anyways, and the snipers are just dealing crazy amounts of damage, so might as well take advantage of that. And both um, uh, Diod as well as Taxman are really, really good snipers. So this is exactly what we're going to do next mission. We already ran uh, late and uh, we need to now defend and hopefully not lose any of our operators in the process thank you so much for watching guys i really enjoyed it and have a great evening see you on the next uh, mission leave a comment or a like down below and uh, bye bye